Good morning vlog. Some of you guys have been like, yeah, he hasn't been on YouTube for a while. Today, I'm on YouTube. So, in case some of you guys don't know, I own a landscaping company now. We got skid steers, we got UTVs, mini skid steers, trucks, trailers, mowers, all sorts of fun toys. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically up to speed with my life. So, let's get this thing going. <laughs> I have a jet sled okay. down at the other corner where Hunter is, and I'm thinking to grab that, put a 400-pound roll on the back of this thing, okay. and see if we can't tow this to where we need it to go. Well, we got a little stuck already. Things up in the air is a tad. Got kind of swamped. <laughs> So just like a little uh, background, um, why it's so muddy, um, last night we got a crazy amount of rain and the night before we had a crazy amount of rain. I think it was about four to five inches total um, with both rainfalls, uh, which is kind of crazy. So, so yeah, that's been, uh, that's been the exciting part. So anyways, we're on to now the second phase where um, where we get to install the fence. So this is going to, this is going to be fun. But yeah, now that we made it once, let me go see if I can drive across this thing again. Alrighty, so we've been working on the fence. Here's what we got here. We got fence, nice and tight. Let me tell you, rolling that uh, fencing out with uh, the roll starting at 429 pounds is not fun. And you gotta hand roll it because you can't really get machines in here. Having fun, Shay? What's up? This is so unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> and how we're tightening it is we have a ratchet strap to the fence, which is up in the air. The machine is down on the flat area just because we were not able to get it on this steep slope. If you look at my trail right here, we came down that whole hill, but it's definitely not going back up. Like, no way. No way is it going up. So, back to our campsite is that way. So we're going to have to clear all these sticks out. And I think I'm going to try to run it through the creek bottom is the goal. Well, things don't always go as planned. So we're stuck. I'm walking into a Home Depot. It's about a 30 minute drive from where our location was. But the track ended up falling off of our mini skid steer twice. And we can't, can't get it back on. So I gotta go get some tools to fix it so you know that's just part of the job unfortunately let's just say I'm not a fan of Home Depot's but uh, it's the only place around it's that or Walmart alrighty so now that we wasted about a half an hour in town a half an hour drive and now I'm on my way back so that's another half an hour hour and a half total for fixing something that is like maybe 15 or 20 minutes off the beaten path um, to get to um, Yeah, not super efficient at the moment, but you know, this is the kind of things that when you do tough jobs you run into problems And you got to deal with them. That's kind of the name of the game a moment of truth. I got the wrench it Took about two hours And we're gonna see if it works So here's the little hole that it has to go into right over there Oh, that's nice. That, you have no idea how, how exciting that is. Alrighty, so we got the light off the UTV over there, shining onto the campfire that we're about to build with the diesel. We're uh, really doing it the, the outdoorsy way. 
um, but we kind of want to um, get to making a fire so we can eat and I really want to take a bath but the water's gonna be cold and so I want a fire to warm up with. Is I, oh, this is cold. Like, take your breath away, cold. Just drinking water out of the straight out of the creek. Yeah. Out of a straw. I wouldn't get the the tip in it because that's not filtered. Is it working? back to the campsite and uh yeah we had a long day's worth of work well not super long like nine and a half hours you said a little over a little over nine and a half hours yesterday was like 12 the shay's whittling a stick so we can cook our brats i got my stick whittled oh yeah kyle got his brat on the fire yep anyways yeah we uh got done at like five ish somewhere around there and uh, now we get to eat some food, do a little camping, go to bed early, start again tomorrow. Alrighty, 7.40 p.m. It's time to go to bed. Got anything to say to Shay? No, that was a good day. <laughs> Let's see if Kyler has anything to say. Uh, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even dark out. This feels weird. It's 7 o'clock. <laughs> crazy. Uh, good night, yo. Six o'clock, day three. Today is Thursday. I slept really good last night. Alrighty, so here's what we got. Well, we got to carry all these posts, so we've been ratcheting straps like five or six posts together, and then we hook them onto our harnesses and carry them all the way down the hill. Here's what we got for a hill. So you go all the way down that, down there, across the creek at the bottom, and then all the way back up uh, to the other corner. So we have those. The next thing we got to carry is these and those posts. Oh, and there's a couple more. There's a couple more metal things. Anyways, it's a lot of work, and I'm already sweating. We've only done two, and we got a lot more to go. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right, so we just got done carrying all of post across and that was very very difficult so we're gonna go get some a life straw so we can drink right out of the creek at the bottom and then we have the rest of this material over here to still carry which is not gonna be easy but we're getting there so here's what we got so I'm strapped to that this strap which is strapped to there which is strapped into my back and then Tyler's lifting the back side um, so let me just drag it down the hill and Brian is carrying a post at 52 years old. I don't know how many 52 year olds you see carrying a big post all the way down the hill and back up. <laughs> okay, here we go. The move has started. Down the hill we go. Ah, sorry. I hit a bunch of sticks in the Okay. Oh! Nailed that tree.
nothing really about this job that's easy. These hills are steep. Like, you just look over and you can see down to there and then it even drops off and goes even steeper. So you can't even see the hill all the way down. Alrighty, so it's lunchtime. We've already worked like four and a half, five hours -ish so far of like just basically carrying and climbing. Yeah, today's been definitely by far the hardest, the hardest day. What did you say, Deshae? Yeah, Deshae has, he brought slippers. The man brought slippers to a hard landscape project in the middle of the woods. But they're holding up pretty good. I mean, like, for slippers. <laughs> I close a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Landscaping slippers. Uh, Definitely OSHA approved. Three, two, one. Oh, wow, this feels like... Right now, I can't avoid level ground. This is the second roll of four. Today was hard. We're just getting done. My arms are all cut up, a little bit dirty, super sweaty. I'm about to jump in the creek because I feel disgusting. But what I do got to say is we worked 10 hours today. And, you know, after carrying heavy material for four hours in a row and then taking a lunch break and then going out and essentially doing the it again, not quite as hard, but... Still very difficult. I'm tired. I am legit tired. So, we're about to jump in the creek. And, uh, yeah. Dying. Kyler's tired. Deshay's tired. And it's time to clean up. That feels really good. Oh, that feels really good. Alrighty, so it's 8.45, time to go to bed. Good morning. It's day four, and I'm sore. We're gonna have burgers today for breakfast. We need a good meaty breakfast so that we can finish off today's work. We got two more straw bales to carry today and install the rest of the fence. Well, we're getting all loaded back up. 
getting ready to leave. Got to get everything strapped right. But yeah, we got attachments on the front and uh, two machines in the back. It's looking pretty good. So we're at Culver's. Um, I didn't really, really record much today just because, well, we just wanted to get done and recording takes time and effort, but we finished the project and I'm excited for getting back home. What are you looking forward to, Deshay? A good shower is going to be nice. Good shower. Maybe some sleep. <laughs> Anyways, we haven't really eaten today yet, and Culver sounds delicious, so I can't wait for this order to arrive. Anyways, I'm going to close off this vlog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.